It appears as though many places throughout the world are reporting that availability of graphics cards is improving, and prices are dropping as well. And while that sounds awesome, I still think you should hold out on buying one. Let's discuss that in this video. Hey, if you enjoy content like this, drop a like, make sure to subscribe, and smash that bell so you never miss another video. Hey, what is going on guys? Danny here. Welcome back to the channel and I hope you've all been doing well. Over the past couple of weeks, I've seen numerous articles posted online talking about how GPU prices in many parts of the world have been falling and that availability has also been increasing as well. One of the particular articles which caught my attention was from 3D Center. These guys are a well-known German hardware site. What they reported in this article was some very interesting information. They gathered some sales data from major German retailers who deal with PC components, specifically graphics cards, and had been tracking prices since the beginning of this year. If we take a look at the chart, you guys can see the immense growth for both Radeon RX 6000 series GPUs and the Nvidia's RTX 30 series. I also had covered some topics earlier in the year with regards to some developments in the industry such as shortages of parts and the explosion of the cryptocurrency market with Bitcoin and Ethereum hitting new all-time highs, along with GPU mining as well. We also had to deal with the new tariffs which further caused manufacturers to raise their prices on their end, followed by retailers raising prices even more. Prices were already pretty bad to begin with at the start of the year where we were seeing cards being sold for 20-40% to 40 above MSRP. This is because that prior to the start of 2021, GPUs, gaming PCs, consoles, stuff like that was already in very high demand because everyone was spending more and more time at home due to lockdown restrictions, people wanted to spend their money on new gadgets and tech to keep themselves occupied at home. I mean, before all of the problems we had with cryptocurrencies, we had NVIDIA release the RTX 3080 and it was pretty much flying off of store shelves. You had lineups outside of stores with people trying to get their hands on these new GPUs and as time went on, demand just kept on growing with not nearly enough supply to meet it. And then it just became absolutely atrocious with GPU prices soaring to double MSRP or even higher for some SKUs because of how much demand there was. Even if you were interested in buying something like an RTX 3080, you'd now be looking at paying around $1,500 to even $2,000 in some places and while you think that no PC gamer in their right mind would be paying these exorbitant prices, the cards were still selling out instantly. Needless to say, everyone in the PC hardware community was just sick and tired of it, and many had simply become disinterested in the market because it just wasn't feasible to build a gaming PC, regardless of whether you were looking for a mid-range card or a high-end one, because prices for the entire market had shifted up. Now looking at their chart, you can see that right around the start to the middle of May, prices for GPUs from both manufacturers had peaked, and then we started to see a decline. One of the biggest reasons for this is because of the fall of various cryptocurrencies such as Ethereum and Bitcoin. Prices for most major coins though is still quite high if you were to compare them directly to what they were last year around this time, but it was still a major drop. Another major reason why prices for GPUs has begun to drop with availability increasing is because this is also actually related to crypto prices dropping, um, and this is because in China they've been cracking down on GPU mining. Due to this ban on cryptocurrency mining, a lot of huge mining operations and farms which would consist of hundreds of mining rigs in factories have been forced to shut down their operations temporarily or look at other regions where they can shift their operations uh, where mining isn't banned, and this has caused a dramatic reduction in demand for graphics cards. We've also seen reports from users in these regions saying how the used market is gradually starting to get flooded with these cards that were used for mining, and now these miners are looking at reselling the cards now that they're done with them to recoup some of their uh, losses. So that has finally taken a lot of stress off the supply chain where as soon as the cards were being shipped out from the factories before they could even make it to retail channels they were gobbled up by these large mining operations which were obviously buying these cards in bulk from distributors. Also one major reason why miners have stopped going after these GPUs is because all the newer silicon has uh, LHR limiters so their hash rates aren't nearly as good as what they should be and therefore mining with these cards just isn't profitable. Due to this, availability in these regions throughout multiple retailers for newer cards has been considerably improving. It's actually kind of funny because when we were going through this whole mining boom of 2021, there were some larger YouTubers who were saying that mining actually wasn't a problem for the GPU shortages, and it was because there just was a lot of demand from PC gamers. To me, this didn't make a whole lot of sense because, as I already explained, that sure, near the release there was a lot of demand from PC gamers, but when crypto miners started to go after GPUs, they were the ones who were primarily going after 
stock, and many PC gamers just weren't paying like double or triple the MSRP for these GPUs. As soon as we see the demand from the crypto miner side start to go down, immediately we see this positive reaction in the market with respect to supply and prices. So it's pretty clear that crypto mining was one of the biggest perpetrators for the market's problems. It also does seem like gradually that availability has been improving in other parts of the world too, like in Europe, Asia, and in the US where retailers such as Micro Center have been seen having cards in stock on shelves and ready to purchase. I've also noticed the same here in Canada with some of my local retailers. Our stock situation hasn't improved nearly as much, but I have heard from numerous stores that they are getting more cards in their shipments and that they've become more frequent as well, so that's a good sign. Now hold on here just a minute. While I'm sure you guys are all very excited to hear how you can go out and finally purchase a new GPU, you probably shouldn't do that just yet, and there's a pretty simple reason as to why. While GPUs might be in stock more frequently than before, prices still aren't anywhere near to the point where one could call them justifiable, at least not for PC gaming. Along with that, it seems like here in North America, prices from our retailers have yet to see those same kind of drops as retailers from other parts of the world have experienced, despite supply improving. Just to show you guys a couple examples, over at Neoag.com you can still find some 3080s listed, like for example this Asus Tough RTX 3080, which is out of stock at the moment, but it's been coming and going frequently, however the price is still quite high. For $1,070, it just doesn't make much sense to buy it, and I remember when the 30 series had initially launched back in September you could find this model being listed for around $749. So you're not getting any good value here at all. Someone over on Reddit posted a picture from a micro center in Mayfield Heights showing a showcase full of RTX 30 series GPUs. Again, it's great to see GPUs in stock like this, but when you zoom in, look at the 3070 Ti's at the bottom of the shelf, which they're actually going for around $800 to $1,000, which is just absurd for this mid-range, quote-unquote mid-range GPU. Here in Canada, it's the same story. We have some places which will show cards in stock, but the prices are absolutely absurd. Want to buy an RX 6700 XT? Well, you'll be looking at paying around $1,100. I remember buying my 3080 for cheaper than that, and that's a much faster card. Yet, it's kind of astonishing to see that there are people who will still pay these prices and be happy with it just because they finally have a GPU. The other thing I have noticed is that despite availability increasing, some retailers are still trying to take advantage of the situation and are keeping their markups in place for the graphics cards. I mean, why wouldn't they? They see it's a smarter business decision to keep selling the GPUs for top dollar if you know you'll have customers willing to pay for it. However, one thing that's been really getting on my nerves is how they're prioritizing these bundles over single GPU sales. Now, these bundles were introduced to deter miners because miners were simply just going after single cards, whereas for people who are looking to buy builds, it would make sense for them to go after the bundles and, you know, save a bit of money. But for people who might be, you know, just looking to upgrade their GPU or just, you know, want a GPU just by itself and they already have a build, then they don't necessarily need all that extra stuff like the CPU, mobile, or PSU. I even saw Newegg bundle an RTX 3090 with some 600 watt bronze Rosewell power supply who are their in-house brand. I mean, I get it, they're trying to get rid of excess stock for these cheap items that they have an abundance of, but it's infuriating nonetheless and and you know, if you're going to do a bundle, at least do one that makes sense. Now, I could go on with more examples, but you guys get the point. This is why I am recommending everyone to just hold off on buying a graphics card, because right now, the prices are just still insane. Now, my other fear is that the retailers are going to see that, you know, there are still some people out there who are buying these graphics cards for top dollar, and they might just still keep the prices uh, raised, up, they're raised up that high. And also, don't forget, because of the tariffs, that's not related to crypto mining, um, manufacturers themselves are still having to incur these high costs. So I don't think that the prices will definitely come back down to what they were pre-2020 pre November, um, because like I said, those costs are now in place and they have to make them up somewhere and then they'll be relayed onto the customer. So don't be surprised if you see that after all is said and done, uh, RTX 3080s are now going for around $850 to $900. Um, it's obviously not as bad as paying $1,500 or $2,000, but it's still pretty bad. The positive in all of this is that at least we can see that the market is trending in the right direction in regards to availability and pricing. These are some really good signs and I'm honestly surprised as to how fast things have actually turned around in those areas, but I guess when you have stuff like crypto crackdowns and the cards which just aren't good for mining anymore, it can create that drastic effect. I believe in the coming months the situation should start to improve even more and we will start to see prices come back down closer to MSRP 
minus all of that other stuff I just mentioned where, um, you know, it won't exactly be closed down to MSRP, but still better nonetheless. Demand for GPUs also have uh, seemed to have decreased as well because of the fact that a lot of places are opening up with no more lockdown restrictions. People are now wanting to go out more, spend more money on, you know, visiting and attractions and traveling. So they have other priorities now. It's not like how it was last year where everyone was stuck at home, wanted to buy a GPU and build a gaming PC. There's multiple various factors involved here now that should help alleviate problems we were facing earlier in the year and last year. It'll be interesting to see how things turn out and it'll help us remain optimistic if you are in the market or going to be in the market shopping around for a new GPU. Like I said, I still recommend waiting. You'll thank yourself because you'll end up paying a price that's way more reasonable than what you'd pay for a GPU today. I hope you guys found this video to be informative and helpful. Let me know your thoughts down below. Check out the video description on ways to support the channel and for my other videos. If you guys are interested in more content like this, then make sure you're subscribed. Thanks for watching. Take care and I'll see you guys in the next one.